What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to touch on something that's, you know, pretty, pretty sensitive, pretty sensitive topic. Uh, a lot of people just don't like talking about it or just avoid it, you know, and I, I try and touch on it a bit in uh, some of my TikToks, but you know, I wanted to make a YouTube video in depth, uh, just one-on-one, -on -one, me and the fucking camera, explaining my opinions on this and some facts as well, because everyone loves fucking facts, I do, um, and just, you know, give you all of what I'm thinking and the way I think people should be looking at this issue. Just looked at that footage there, realized there's a massive red mark here. I was just wearing blue light blocking glasses, guys. Get your blue light blocking glasses. You know, I'm not sponsored, just get them on Amazon. They're at, what, 15 bucks or something? If a blue light blocking glasses company wants to sponsor me, go for it. Anyway, so promoting obesity is not the same thing as loving your body, okay? Those are separate things, and I feel like the this little group of people, these like fat-loving people love to say being completely obese is okay. And like, there's a fine line that needs to be drawn here. Okay, so you should love your body no matter what. If you love your body at 700 pounds, that's great, that's up to you. You can love it and no one should be telling you otherwise that you have, to, no one should be telling you you're fat, fuck you, like treating you any differently cause you're that weight. That's, you know, people always think some of my TikToks, I'm fat phobic, or, I didn't even know if that was a word or, or something like that. No, if you're 700 pounds, and you're okay with that and you know the risks and you're just sitting there and you love your body. You're like, oh fuck it, I'm 700 pounds, I don't give a fuck. It's up to you, I'm not gonna come up to you and be like, yo, you're fat, you gotta lose weight. No, and then no one should do that. Now, where I see a big issue is where people who are clearly obese are trying to tell other people who are obese that they never need to lose weight and it's perfectly fine and they should just stay obese because that, you know, if they're healthy on the inside, that's what counts, okay? That is just not how I see it at all. If you are constantly telling someone who is obese that they never ever need to lose weight, they're just healthy the way they are, just accept the fact that you're obese, it's your genetics, whatever, all these dumb excuses, just accept it, you know, they're gonna be so much less inclined to actually make a change because you're telling them it's perfectly fine to just stay obese, okay? It is not, okay, if you don't wanna make a change, that's up to you, and no one should be telling you that you need to. Like, I'm not gonna come up to you and be like, you need to lose fat, no. But if you're constantly telling them that you're perfectly fine the way there, you're healthy the way there, it's, it's what matters on the inside, no, having excess fat is not good. You're not meant to be obese. That's just plain and simple, everyone knows that. That shouldn't be, like, no one should be offended from that coming out of my mouth. It is a literal fact that being overweight is not healthy for you. Having excess body fat is not healthy for you. I, overweight, I mean obese, okay? I mean like excessive amounts of body fat. If you just have a little extra body fat, it's probably fine. Like I have a little extra body fat right now. I, that's not what I mean, okay? I mean obese, like tons of body fat. It should not be an argument. Me, that coming out of my mouth should not cause someone to get really mad. It, it's a fact. Why, why do people get mad at facts these days? There's a thin line though, okay? You shouldn't be telling people that they need to lose weight. Like, I'm not gonna come up to someone and be like, you need to lose weight, okay? But you cannot tell them that it's just okay to be obese. Cause it's not, like, they're, it's a very thin line. You have to be very careful. You shouldn't even really talk to them, okay? You, you shouldn't even talk to them about that cause that's up to them. If they wanna make a change, that's great. But if you keep telling them they don't need to make a change, they're gonna be less likely to make a change cause they're, you're telling them it's okay. And they're gonna be like, oh, if, fucking Jimmy says it's okay, then maybe it's okay. Maybe I'll just stay obese and die early and get diabetes and a heart attack, you know? You're, they're just gonna be like, eh, fuck it. But if this 700 pound obese person wants to just stay 700 pounds, that's completely up to them. No one should be coming up to them and being like, hey, you're a complete fat ass, you need to lose weight. Okay, if they don't wanna lose weight, you know, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, they're obese. Are they, would they be significantly healthier at, you know, let's say 300 pounds? Yeah, they would. If they don't want to do that, you know, not much you can do. You shouldn't fat shame them. You shouldn't treat them any differently. That's their choice, okay? That's their body. They can stay obese, but you cannot tell a 700 pound obese person that they're healthy on the inside and they're they're healthy. They're 700 pounds. They're probably 500 pounds overweight and people are literally trying to tell them that they don't need to lose weight and that's okay. You're, it's okay. What is this generation? Like, what what the fuck? People literally get so offended at some of the shit I say on my videos, like my uh, TikTok, and I'm just like, why are you getting offended over that? It's like a fact that obesity is a disease, and people get, why are you calling it a disease? They just have excess body fat, and it's normal, it's healthy, everyone's healthy. Uh, if you're healthy on the inside, eating fruits and veggies. Like, 
having excess body fat uh, makes you less healthy. Okay, you could still be eating all your fruits and veggies, but if you have an extra 70 pounds of body fat, you are gonna be less healthy than someone who is a normal body fat. Maybe they got a disease on their own, but in terms of like having that much fat on your body, it's making you less healthy. So people who are obese promoting obesity as if it's okay and that no one needs to lose fat and that obesity is just normal these days. And you know, I don't know, there's some conspiracies that like the government's working against them or healthy food is so much more money and that's why they're eating McDonald's every day or whatever. Okay, everyone can lose weight. Some people just have more discipline to do it. And if you were obese watching this and you're getting really offended by what I'm saying, uh, that's not my intention. I'm not fat phobic. If you don't wanna lose weight, that's completely up to you. But you know by now, if you have excess body fat, you have more health risks than if you were lower body fat. That's just a fact and you probably know that. And I would love if you want to make a change or do something about it instead of just sitting there, just settling and making excuses. You know, if you're obese, you know it. It, that shit happens. You got obese. That, that you can lose the fat though. You can do it. Like there's there's nothing stopping you. You might have some obstacles, but it's not impossible. So you can do it. Put your head down and get to work. Don't be lazy. Don't buy into this uh, stay obese shit. It's you know the government's working against you or I don't know your thyroid. Dumb excuses like that. Don't buy into that crap. Make a change if you want to make change. If you want to stay 400 pounds, hey, that's up to you. Hope you guys enjoyed the rant there. Hope you guys actually understood the message and didn't just you know look at me and be like, oh, this guy's fucking fat phobic or hates fat people. No, that's not it. And if you got that, I don't even know what to say. You didn't really listen to the words, what I'm saying. Uh, but if you really got the message there, then congrats, you're fucking smart. Um, and you know, you have a brain that most people don't have on TikTok. So appreciate it guys. You guys are beauties. I'm going to be going to my cottage. Um, I don't know, three days cause my fucking car broke down. So I'm going to go there cause they shut fucking gyms down in Ottawa. Goofs man. Goofs. So we're going to be going to Peter Rowe. Uh, and going to the gym there because it's open because um, gyms should not be close in my opinion, but that's another video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in the next one.